G'day everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today we will be talking about how to fix um, anime eyes when we are working with make human characters. Uh, usually you do not get a gap like this when you use freestyle as you can see over here. So I'm just going to be quickly showing you how to fix that. That's what this tutorial is about. So I'm going to be turning off the fix and I'm going to re-render it so you can see what it's um, looking like without this effect. Okay, there you go. This is what it looks like when it's not um, correct. As as you can see, it just it distracts from the, it detracts from the rest of the face. I mean, it looks like that. It's a very small difference, but it makes a big difference in your um, in the feeling of the picture. Let me zoom in. See. Okay, so um, applying this fix is really really simple. Um, basically, all you do is you just duplicate the small parts around the eye where the um, outline appears and you just drag that slightly forward and you enlarge it by a very small amount. And this little shape over here is simply um, Z transparency set to 0 0.001 because if you set it all the way down Z transparency doesn't register in the compositor. Um, and then you just the black outline, which looks horrible. Um, and in order to prevent freestyle from outlining this object as well, you use a freestyle group. Basically, a freestyle group is simply the normal way you would group something, control G, um, but the only thing you don't include in the freestyle group in terms of your freestyle objects is, of course, this little area that you don't want freestyle lines in. So, for example, you can see their freestyle group as well as the soccer player, and then you can see that. Uh, some people call it football, we call it soccer, you know, do whatever. Okay, so uh, let me quickly show you how to do that. So I'm just going to be hiding this and redoing it. So what you need to do, I'm just going to delete the material as well so it can just be extra clear about it. Okay. So on the body, you select the body. And if you press tab, you can access the surrounding parts of the eye. All you need to select are the parts that would um, be visible at various angles. So let's select this little section over here and just rotate it. I don't mind a black outline coming in here when we're like super, super close up, but you may. So just for the sake of being thorough, I'm going to have you select these as well. And rotate it slightly over. Don't need to go any further than this little part over here. So I'm just going to be taking that. And if you want to, you can extend it over here. Doesn't matter. And then you do need to cross over the eyelid a little bit. This area is not so important, so I'm just going to be deselecting that. And I am ecstatic with joy about that little section over there. So now you do the same over here. Remember, it's very important that you select the little section that overlaps it, because look at this. You see? You don't want uh, a black line forming in here just because you're below the face. So you need to go a smidge over. Look at that. See? Now you can see it over there. Okay, that looks good. Now let's go over to the other side and do exactly the same. Remember, this is just to create that um, signature blank space um, between the bottom eyelashes and the um, top eyelid and eyelashes. That's a tongue twister. Try saying that fast. Oh dear. I'm deselecting, not selecting. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, let's get this. there as well. Okie dokie. We are good. Okay, so now you duplicate this. I prefer using Shift D and taking it just off the face. See, just slightly off the face. A little bit higher. 
Okay, and now you assign a new material to that. So I'm going to be redoing this clear freestyle um, material just so you can see how to do it. So let's call this clear freestyle 001. Preview, doesn't really matter. You can turn that up, you can turn it down. I do recommend you change the color so that it stands out. So I'm going to be using a blue instead of a green this time. Don't need specularity, put it on shadeless, uh, shading, shadeless transparency. It's important that you set it to 0 0.001 because like I said before, otherwise it will vanish. I mean, you can actually set it to zero and set it to zero. Um, mirror, no, no, no strands, not traceable, no mist. Set the index to, actually the index doesn't matter because it's on the right layer. Uh, no shadows, no auto bias, no casting, no nothing. That can be ignored. Okay, now the only thing that's going to be tested is to see if Freestyle recognizes it with this on point zero 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 zero. Okay, let's assign it. That looks good. Now I'm going to make sure it's on individual origins and I'm going to enlarge it slightly. It's an uneven form of enlargement that doesn't respond like uh, expanding it from the center. That's why I use individual origins. I think we are good in this case. What you can do is you can just fix this outer part though. So let's just select this face and on the other side, same deal. Oh dear, wow. All right. I've got it to uh, set to, um, what's the word? Rotate around selected, that's the word. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's better. That should do it. Now, what I need you to do is I need you to press L as you hover over it so that it selects only the blue part or you can use the material select section and press P to separate. We have to separate it in order to make it part of the group. And then you say, ah, exclude it from the group, sorry. Um, say selection, tab out, and then you can see you can select it. So in this case, we need to remove it from the group. When I tested this, I needed to add it, um, the, everything else to the freestyle group. So this time I'm just going to knock it out. And if you go to your freestyle settings, just make sure freestyle layer is selected. You add the group button and it'll open this little area over here. Make sure it's um, set to inclusive, which is its default. And then you select the group that you want the freestyle effects applied to. I think that should be good. Let's give that a render. Make sure that the other one is turned off completely. Yeah. And there you have it. Gaps for the eyes. So you can see it's a very simple method, but it's a very effective method. Um, if you struggled with this little um, aspect of it, uh, um, I hope that this has helped you tremendously. Have a great one and God bless.